As we've just seen, melody is a really important part of almost all music. And in fact, for a very long time, it was the only element of a lot of music that was being written, particularly in Europe. Gregorian chant is one of the earliest forms of music that we find in Europe and it consists of very simple melodies that were sung in churches and cathedrals to um, recite religious texts and also mark out important dates in the religious calendar and the melodies that were used for Gregorian chant were incredibly simple. It would sound something a little bit like this. And didn't really have a huge amount of rhythm involved either. They were, they were mainly melodic forms of music. But over time, composers started to experiment with what they could do with melody and also started to explore if they could extend what they were doing in music beyond the bounds of pure melody. And when they started doing this, they started adding other notes to the mixture as well as the notes that make up the melody. And when we do that, when we combine notes or pitches in music, we come up with something called harmony. And... Harmony is probably my favourite part of all of music theory because it allows us to take something that's as simple as a melody and give it a, a huge amount of extra depth and colour just by adding some extra notes. Imagine I had three notes here, a C, an E and a G. Now what I could do with these notes or pitches is turn them into some kind of melody. Now you'll notice that during the melody, there was only one note playing at any one time. The notes never crossed over, um, and so we got this sort of horizontal line going forward in time, where we arranged these different notes or pitches into a melody. Now, imagine if we wanted to do something a little bit different. Imagine if we were to slightly change the way that we were organising these pitches, not in a line that's going horizontally across but instead in a vertical line where all of the sounds come at the same time. I've taken my three pitches C, E and G and turned them into a stack. So we're not talking about melody anymore really, we're talking about something else because they're not coming in a sequence in a series that goes on in time, they're all coming at the same time stacked on top of each other. Let's just have a listen to what that sounds like. Whenever we have two or more notes sounding at the same time, we call this a chord. And chords are an absolutely central part of all Western music um, because it gives us so much more colour and depth and emotion that we can play with. Let's have a listen to that chord one more time. You'll hear that the notes of the chord, they don't sound separate like they were before when we were playing them as a melody. Actually, what they do is they seem to fuse together to become one thing. And this is a really important point about chords, is that we tend to see chords as a unit, even though they're made up of lots of different notes. Because they come at the same time, um, we see them as, as one unit. A chord can strictly be any time we play more than one note at once, so the easiest way to play a chord would be to take one note and add another note to it. Like this. But most of the time we use something called a triad, which is where we have three different notes sounding at the same time. And this is what we've got here. It's what we've just been listening to. If we just take two notes and play them at the same time, we'll generally find that sounds a little bit bare and empty, although sometimes it's the effect that we're looking for in music. But it really seems to come alive with colour when we add this third ingredient, the E, to the middle. Suddenly we have this interesting colour and quality that we haven't been able to achieve just using pitches on their own in melodies. Now I'm sure you've been to a party where someone's been able to get out the guitar and play some songs which makes them incredibly popular and all the girls think they're really cool. Unfortunately I was never that person which is strange bearing in mind I'm actually quite good at music but anyway um, it turns out that these people are generally not musical geniuses. What they've probably worked out is if they know a few of these basic triads they're able to harmonize or play along with pretty much any song there is and it gives them a huge amount of freedom and flexibility.
Now, just like scales, these triads come in a few different flavors like major and minor. So let's go and have a look at a few of these right now, starting with the major triad.